Hey guys, my name is Santosh and I'm a software engineering intern at Elastic IO in Bonn, Germany. To start, just a quick intro about myself. I'm a second year engineering student at the University of Waterloo. I love to play sports, talk about philosophy, and eat as much food as possible. As of right now, I'm roughly halfway through my internship and lived in Germany for about two months. This is my first time working and really living in Europe by myself, and it definitely had its ups and downs at the start of the term. That being said, I learned a lot of life lessons made some awesome friends, and did some pretty cool stuff that I wouldn't really expect myself to do. I'll talk more about this later on in the Q&A section, but for now, I bet you guys are thinking, what is Elastic IO? In a nutshell, Elastic IO is a German startup of roughly 40 employees from all over the world. They offer an integration platform as a service to other businesses in North America and Europe. Actually, why don't we have the man himself talk more about it? Elastic IO is a piece of middleware. It's an integration platform. It uh, helps to connect different applications from the cloud as well as from on-premise and let uh, different applications speak to each other. The future for Elastic IO is, is obviously a world dominant, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but slightly before that, uh, uh, I believe that Elastic IO will be a leading integration provider in the European markets as well as in North American markets. As a software engineer intern at Elastic IO, my typical day consists of me waking up around 7.30 a.m., but then usually falling back to sleep and waking up again at 8 a.m. I leave my apartment at 9 a.m. to catch a train to work. The train ride is about 10 minutes, and during that time, I listen to some music to get me pumped up for the day. From the train station, it is a five minute walk to the office. The office is located in downtown Bonn. Bonn is a small, cute city located in Western Germany. And fun fact, Bonn used to be the capital city of Germany until 1991. I arrived at the office around 9.20ish, and I usually get a quick bite to eat while I check up on Slack and my emails to see if I missed any important conversations or if anything new popped up. I have stand up at 10 15 a.m. So prior to stand up, I make sure to jot down what my plan is for the day and what I completed the day before. I think this is a good time to mention that I work on the pre sales team. This means that the work I do connects directly to the Elastic IO clients, such as ensuring that their technical needs are met, while making sure that the Elastic IO connectors and components are working as expected. I'll be speaking more about the work I do in the QA section. In terms of my life outside of work, I make sure to get out and explore Germany and Europe as much as possible. I made it a goal of mine to go to see a new city and try new food every weekend. In other words, never be home for the weekends. During the weekdays, you can catch me running and playing soccer as I joined a local running team and soccer team in here at Bonn. Sometimes I like doing crazy shenanigans, like speeding down the autobahn. But also, some days are pretty laid back, as I would spend time watching Netflix, working on some side projects, and catching up with friends and family. Hey guys, that's pretty much it for a week in my shoes. Now it's time for the Q&A section, where I answer some of the commonly asked questions and some of the questions that were asked on our Instagram page. Let's get started. So the first question is, how has this internship been so far compared to your previous internships? Um, so I've completed two internships, both as a software engineer intern slash developer for the respective product teams. In the past, I would say my role was more of a traditional software engineering role, uh, as at a high level, my main tasks were really bug fixes and building features. Whereas here at Elastic IO, I've been given much more freedom than I had in the past in the sense that here I'm a part of the decision making processes as well as gathering technical requirements for the projects I'm working on. And I think this is really cool because by going through these practices, I'm getting a better understanding of what technological affordance is. In other words, what's feasible and what's not feasible. In addition, I work for the pre-sales team, so I've been working directly with the sales team 
and it has really opened my eyes to see how important their practices are, are for the growth of the company. The second question is, what is the biggest difference in workplace culture that I've noticed? Um, the biggest difference I noticed about European work culture in general is the working hours. Europeans don't tend to work over 40 hours a week and they get much more vacation hours than your typical North American worker. And I think um, the biggest takeaway from this is that working long hours doesn't necessarily translate to productivity. And I think the European companies and market is a proof of concept of that. The third question is, how do I balance my work life with my social life? Um, definitely working in Europe has given me a better balance between my work life and my social life. My biggest concern before arriving in Germany was, what would I do in my free time and how would I make friends? And to be honest, I just had to get out of my comfort zone and be part of the community. This meant going to expat events, going to some local events, and really talking to anyone that seemed approachable. Uh, also, most Germans know pretty good English, and if they're nice, they'll teach you some German as well. I think my favorite German phrase is Ich kann das, which means I can do it. And man, I don't know how many times I've used this phrase now. What is the most valuable lesson you learned so far? I really like this question because this is something that I really thought about before entering my internship, something so present and visible during my work term something that I'm trying to grow at and get better at every day, and this idea really articulated my thoughts concisely. Something I noticed about German culture as a whole is that when, you speak, when they speak, they're very straight to the facts. There isn't any fluff when they're conveying their thoughts, and I think this really paints a picture about a person. The fifth question is, what does the last aisle look for when they're hiring an intern? For this question, I thought, why don't we have the hiring manager himself speak more about it? Here, I present to you Jacob, aka Firefighter. Hiring an intern, the first thing we look for is that they need to have a base level of uh, technical proficiency. Uh, so we use REST and a lot of JavaScript, and so being able to, be having familiarity with those technologies uh, or those principles is beneficial. Uh, but then the final thing we're looking for is for students that bring their own perspective. So that is to say, students who have ideas or viewpoints that we at our company so far may not have, and so that they can sort of extend the way we, in which we think about the problems that we solve. All right guys, that's it. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, just shoot me a message and I'd love to talk. Ciao.